driving cupcakes, <laughs> and sometimes things don't work out. What you got? Um, this is amazing. I'm learning so much. Like maybe I should go back to school and start learning some more technology because this is all I know. These are <laughs> these are floaties <laughs> for buoyancy. But I'm here with the Sub C Rover Robotics team, and this is really what they do. I want to show you a picture because you just can't do it justice from up top here. But here's our whole team. Hi, team. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. Tell us what this is. This is our ROV, which stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. So we control it via the surface, and this goes underwater, and it completes tasks such as like moving things and connecting things. Um, and this is for the Mate ROV competition. Okay, so this today we're not putting in the water because it's having some issues. Right. So unfortunately, we uh, so in order to make sure that it is waterproof, we have a, a, a hole in the back of the tube, and we basically do a pressure test on it. And unfortunately, we got it a little bit too tight today, so we can't unscrew it. So uh, we're having we to can show it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this is what happens with technology, trial and error. This is what being a scientist is all about. OK, and so you were saying one of the things about this is it's, it's got tasks to replace divers for things that are too dangerous? Exactly, yeah. So I mean, lots of things, like I mean, in a harbor or like on a boat wreck or whatever, they have to go and inspect things and check them out and stuff. And some things are just too dangerous for divers, like I was saying. And so you just have to send other things. And so this is basically showing what um, bigger ROVs would do. You know? Okay, we got some prototypes here. I've got, my, yeah. where are my prototype models? Okay, so these were earlier models of hands, right? Yeah, yeah basically. So, I mean, this was to scoop up um, clams. I mean, they use PVC to um, represent it, but it was to pick up clam samples. And this one? That one was to pick up um, seaweed samples, I believe. Yes. Okay, and then I love this. Okay, and now, 2018, 2019, we have the new and improved, what is it? Uh, this is our claw for this year and what it is supposed to do is that we would have a servo with a rod and all it would do is simply push in and out and this would give us very fine control and be able to grab and turn things with much greater precision than any the, er other. the earlier models. Tell us what you love about this so much because clearly there's a lot of work. You were saying you guys have papers to present, you have to present to people, actual verbal presentations. Yeah. What do you like about this? I like the teamwork, working with the team and figuring things out together. That is, that's just really fun. Sometimes there's problems and we just have to work together and find out the solution. And because obviously if you were at a competition and this isn't working, y'all have to put your heads together yeah. and make it work. Yeah, one person by themselves can't do it, so. Well, I heard a joke when someone said, I do a lot of teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't do that. Well, great to you guys. I'm sorry this wasn't working today, but this is beautiful. And again, let me go back to my old school technology. These are floaties. All right, don't be confused. These are floaties, and they do use them on here yeah. for weight, big word, buoyancy, buoyancy. All right, thanks, you guys, so much for sharing this with us, and we'll show you some more stuff. Go ahead, let that engine roar. Go ahead. I'm going to leave you with some sounds. Thank you, guys. Mini Maker Fair there today. The engine. Sierra College in Rockland till 4.